An attempt to save Florida coral is wrecking the reef instead. Apparently, they didn't think through what seawater does to metal. Here's Barry Peterson. They're off before dawn. Diver Thomas Pennypacker is on a rescue mission off the coast of Fort Lauderdale, saving a piece of Florida's natural coral reef. There is no current right now. From this, a massive 35-acre graveyard of old tires. It started as a way to get rid of tires clogging up landfills back in 1970. Up to two million tires, bundled by metal clips, were dumped here to create an artificial reef. The hope was that they would spur coral growth and attract fish, all good for the environment. Really good idea, really bad outcome. The clips rusted away, the tires broke free. Storms and constant ocean currents keep the tires moving, dragging across and damaging the fragile living reef nearby, says Alex Delgado, the dive coordinator. Right now it's just a wasteland, uh, it's tires everywhere, and now we need to correct it before it does additional damage. Down below here is the priority zone, where they had as many as 300,000 tires, but the tires have really spread throughout this area, all the way as far as the beaches of Fort Lauderdale. How you doing down there? No, we're in a pretty good spot. Surrounded by a seemingly endless mound of tires, Penny Packer slings them onto lines to be hauled up by a crane. Until he and his team fetch as many as 600 on a good day. It's a race against time. Pat Quinn is the natural resources specialist for Broward County. They won't break apart in our lifetime. So if you don't get them out of there, they're just going to be there forever. So far, Florida state funding will bring the number of recovered tires to about 160,000. Not enough, say experts, to protect a reef 7,000 years in the making. Barry Peterson, CBS News, off the coast of Fort Lauderdale.